Okay, John, well, we're back, uh, not where we started from, but I just wanted to show you that um, I do have everything up and running again. Now, this is with my handheld controller. So, as I try to do two things at once, I'm going to try doing this without looking at my phone. So we have steering. Okay. We have motor. Speed and direction. And tilt. It bounces a little bit, but anyway, so this is my handheld held controller, and it sits up here on my seat, right up in there. And there's a piece of Cat 6 cable here that runs around and goes into the control box. And now what I'm going to show you, I want to turn that off for now, and have things opened up. But now what I want to show you, inside the control box, nothing's changed. Um, I did remove one of the jerk motor drivers and replaced it with a 12 to 6 volt um, step down system so I can run my servo. Uh, but it's basically all the same. And this cable here, this CAT 6 cable is what goes to my handheld device. Now what I do now is I unplug that. I've got another box here. Now it's a little overkill because it was a box that already had a square hole in it and we've had the square hole discussion. But it basically contains the RC receiver and the CAT6 driver board inside. I think you can see that. And I've got a piece of that uh, dual lock, whatever it is, 3M stuff on there. And this box, for now, just sits on top of the other box. I've taken all the screws out, obviously, so you can see it. The other thing I've done is I've added this flexible arm widget here from Yak Attack for my uh, transducer for my fish finder. Now, in order to switch over from the handheld hardwired box, control box, which is connected to this piece of CAT6, uh, I have this short jumper, which I plug into my control box, which I then plug into my RC receiver. And if this all works like it's supposed to work, then I take my remote wireless controller, turn this on, and everything should work. I've got steering on the joystick. This is the joystick that they designated as a throttle. You RC plane and helicopter guys have a name for this. That works quite well. I've got my tilt on this potentiometer right here. It's a little bit jerky. And I've got my motor speed here. Forward and reverse. And that seems to work really well. I haven't tried any distance yet, but you know, I walk, I can't see anything with my van in the way, but you get the picture. So this is communicating with this, which communicates with the controller that runs all the electronics for the different motor functions. So it actually works. 
and uh, now the obvious next step is to get out onto the water. So I'll talk to you soon.